Uh, let me read you something that is written about, and this is, you know, that was page seven, eight. This is page nine. And now he's gone into war and interventionist, right? Uh, intervening in other countries' business. And he's, he talks about Libya here a fair bit. And for anyone that's been following politics, geopolitics and stuff like this, uh, history will look upon the day that the Western powers destroyed Libya as one of the greatest catastrophes in human history, in our civilization. That's my take, right? Uh, unbelievable. And it'll look upon us, the citizens of the West, that allowed our governments to do this as some of the most selfish, ignorant, uncaring, un unempathetic people in history, really, right? And Nassim understands this. He doesn't go too deep into it, uh, but he does just bring up that, I believe he either brought it up here or he brought it up during lectures that I've seen where, you know, he mentions that there's open slave markets, markets in Libya right now as compared to what Libya was before the Western governments bombed it, which was Libya was the country with the highest standard of living in Africa. Country with the highest standard of living in Africa in five years six years destroyed by western powers to have open slave markets wow right and this is what nassim has to say regarding this mindset right and i'm going to read uh you know just a couple paragraphs maybe three paragraphs two and a half paragraphs from page nine okay and he's just gone into talking about interventionalist those people who went who told us they went to Libya to get rid of a dictator or whatever it is. Let me read you two and a half paragraphs. And don't give up on logic, intellect, and education because tight but higher order logical reasoning would show that unless one finds some way to reject all empirical evidence, Advocating regime changes implies also advocating slavery or uh, advocating slavery or some similar degradation of the country, since these have been typical outcomes. So the intervention, inter, interventionalistas not only lack practical sense and never learn from history, but they even fail at pure reasoning which they drown in elaborate semi semi abstract buzzword buzzword laden discourse there are three flaws one they think in statistics not dynamics two they think in low not high not high dimensions three they think in terms of action never interaction Okay, we will see in more depth throughout the book this uh, uh, defect of mental reasoning by educated or rather semi-educated fools. I, I can flesh out the three uh, defects for now, right? And then he goes into detail talking about what the three defects of interventionists are when they go in wage war on behalf of whatever it is that they are doing right and one of the things uh nasim has mentioned continuously mentions is politicians right now have no skin in the game they go wage war without paying the price for it right there are numerous leaders in the western world who have committed war crimes wars of aggression lied blatantly lied. all of that has come out and what happened in 2008 with Obama coming to power, he turned around and turned to the world and said, war crimes have been committed, but let's move on and forget about the war crimes that were committed. Okay? It's no, it's no use going and dealing with all these difficult choices that 
the people that came into power before him or were into power or the heads, the talking heads that were making, waging war, right? It's no use prosecuting them for war crimes, right? That's what one of the major things that the Obama administration did. So they, uh, <laughs> they normalized war crimes, right? Crimes against humanity. Which is one of the reasons we're seeing everything that's happening right now, right? Those who don't take risk, and I highlighted this, those who don't take risk, have skin in the game, should never be involved in making decisions. Man, that's fantastic. Which is one of the reasons Nassim believes in uh, the draft. When a nation goes to war, uh, the draft must be in play because everyone has equal chance of going to war it's not just those who have no out right they have no job prospects they have no no prospects of going to the costs are too high or they haven't jumped through the right hoops to go into uh, some kind of higher education or whatnot or academic education I won't say higher education because there's plenty of education to be had living life right uh, just something else I've highlighted regarding the uh, subheader. Warlords are still around, right? The idea of skin in the game is woven into history. Historically, all warlords and warmongers were warriors themselves. And with a few curious exceptions, societies were run by risk, take risk takers, not risk transfers. And that's one phrase that he uses, risk transfer, which is politicians now and corporations now, they transfer risk onto others, onto citizens, onto us, right? They are not held accountable, okay? So this is what he says regarding, uh, again, subtitle, uh, systems learned by removing. So quote, now if you are going to highlight only one single section from this book, here is the one. The interventionist, interventionist case is central to our story because it shows how absence of skin in the game has both ethical and epi epistemological effects related to knowledge, right? I had to look that up before, but it's actually put it in brackets as well, right? Epistemological, related to knowledge. We saw that interventionalistas don't learn because they are not the victims of their mistakes and we hinted at with pathema mathemata right what we talked about which is guide your learning through pain okay the same mechanisms of transferring risk again he's highlighted this is his i he's put in italics right this, the same mechanisms of transferring risk also impede learning, right? So if we're transferring risk to other people, we're not learning, right? Which is what happened in 2008 when Obama came to power and said, we're not going to look into what happened with the war crimes that were committed in Afghanistan, Iraq, torture around the globe with black sites and stuff like this. We're not going to look into that, right? Nothing was learned. The same mechanisms of transferring risk also impede learning. 